he said that, and now, <laughs> more comedy down the other end of the room, Elliot Goblet. Elliot, away you go. All right. yes. Yeah, good evening. I'm Elliot Goblet, and it's great to be here tonight. Not too many people know this, but in the early 60s, I got together with three other musicians. We got mop-top haircuts, and we formed a band. We based ourselves in Liverpool, England, and we, it was our intention to call ourselves the Beatles. Take the world by storm for about seven years before breaking up and going our own separate ways. But wouldn't you know it, four other guys got in just before us. You can't help bad luck, can you? <laughs> and last year I was going to shave my head and become an unsuccessful candidate for the Nuclear Disarmament Party. But wouldn't you know it, another guy got in just before me. You can't help bad luck, can you? <laughs> I'd like to change the pace a bit now. I have a toast that only toasts on one side of the bread, but that's fine because I only eat one side anyway. I like to go to sleep in a standing position. That way getting up in the morning isn't so difficult. One time I got into a cab and the driver was just a head. No arms, no body, no legs, just a head. He asked me where I wanted to go and I said, I oh, just here will be fine, thanks. When I travel I like to carry plenty of rope because if I'm mugged I'd rather be tied up with my own rope instead of some strange twine. Last week I had my car towed away because it was blocking my drive. Last year I was going to travel around the world but I decided to stay here because I met so many nice people at my going away party. <laughs> I have a pet snail called Harvey but we never go anywhere because it always takes Harvey so long to get ready. There's nothing I enjoy more than going into a pub, ordering a meal and then running off just before they call out my number. <laughs> Once more I just like to stress that I do all of my own choreography. Last year on the way home, I was just driving along at about 30 miles per cubic hour and I was pulled over by this police car. A big policeman got out and he walked over to my car window. Now I noticed with this particular fellow that his gums and his teeth were somehow connected. He stared down at me and he yelled, you're above 0.05, goblet. And I very cleverly replied, no I'm not. Yes you are, no I'm not. Yes you are, no I'm not. Yes you are, no I'm not. Anyway, this went on for a fair while. And at the end, we couldn't agree and just went separate ways. <laughs> Got to go now. Good night. Uh, <laughs> and I want to know who does the choreography. Elliot Goblin. <coughs> and he has this EP, I guess you'd call it around, called A Change of Pace Part 1 and Part 2. Now for a change of pace. Stanley, if I could just find out exactly how you came to be discovered, because you're only, what, 25 years of age? I'm 25, yeah. You play like a genius already. Who found you? Well, um, I like to think that um, I discovered people instead of people discovering me. Right. Um, but I was playing in the streets uh, as recently as last summer. And what I did was I met a lot of the musicians and I met a lot of the people who always go out and listen and support the music. And I asked them who would be the best industry person to talk to. Right. And Bruce Lundvall's name came up again and again and again. So I put all my energy into trying to meet him and I finally got the opportunity and uh, he became interested in signing me right away and shortly thereafter he got his new position with uh, Manhattan and Blue Note Records. Right. So I signed in September and I've got an album which will be coming out next week produced by Aldi Miola. Yeah, what will that be called? It's called Magic Touch. And Aldi Miola actually produced it? Uh-huh. Top guy. He was out here in Australia not too long ago, too. Oh, he was. Uh -huh. Lovely fella. Uh -huh. Yeah, and he plays well. Where would you say you got that style from, or is it your own? Is it your own creation? Well, there are other people who have used the technique that I use, mm -hmm. but I discovered it on my own. You see, I started out as a piano player when I was six years old. Yeah, I read that. Somewhere. And um, I just, I love the possibilities of the piano because you can play bass and chords and lead and all that stuff at yeah. the same time. You can play counterpoint. And I uh, studied guitar for a long time and reached a point where I realized that guitar was really my instrument. Right. But even though I like the guitar as an instrument, I like the possibilities of the piano. So I experimented and figured out a way to bring those Put possibilities the to the guitar, yeah. Will you play us a little bit more, a little later yeah, on if we have time? Yeah, I'd love to. We would love to have you do that and uh, let's see if we can't fit in the time. Just to have a look at Stan one more time. Okay, right now we'll have a look at the Kane Gang and then Spy versus Spy, a new local group. Good song to stay in with us too, Smillo. Okay. How tough are you? Well, do you fly up? <laughs> a terrible boy. Kane Gang first, out of England. This was a hit in the UK. And then Spy versus Spy. <laughs> <laughs> 